This guy got in trouble for filming outside until the police turn up and everything changes. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Audit Rewind where I react and give my opinions to the craziest police encounters on YouTube. If you're new to my channel and you like the sound of that kind of content, then make sure you hit subscribe and possibly leave a like on today's video to show your support. This first clip is from Nasty Nathaniel. I'll leave a link down below to his channel in my description. I'm going to react to what happens here. He was doing an audit, a First Amendment audit. Seems to be outside of some type of a coffee store or something or kind of like a cafe. And the people inside notice him filming and they get really annoyed because they don't want to be filmed. And I believe it was them that actually called the police on him. So let's take a look at what happens here. And as always, I'm going to give my feedback on what I think on this situation. Let's get started. We were just wondering what you guys were up to because some of our customers were like ducking in their cars and feeling... I, I can't hear you very well. What were you saying? Some of our customers were like feeling uncomfortable about being recorded, but we were just wondering what you guys were up to. Yeah, just doing some recording. Can you tell us a little bit about the menu or... Um, I was told like not to say anything too specific, but I was just going back and say Not to say, oh, oh, okay. Have a good night. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Hmm. Well, that kind of uh, raises my suspicion. Uh. Oh. Uh, I was wondering. Hey, we got the... What was that? Sounds good. Oh, I think we got a handsome alert. Good evening. Hey, Good evening. how's it going? I'm Deputy Gamecho of the Sheriff's Office for San Luis Obispo County. Uh huh. They called us wondering why you guys were recording, but since you're on a public sidewalk, okay. you're, uh, you're free to record. Okay. I'm going to let them they, know. They actually did call you? Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we haven't even been here 10 minutes. <laughs> I know. No, but okay. you're, on, you're on a public sidewalk. So okay. If you want to record, you can record them. Uh, okay. But just want to let you know you're fine. Yeah, I'm, wow. I'm, I mean, I, I can't believe they... I'm going to explain to them the, the law oh. so they understand. And, uh, no, that's great. That's awesome. All right. What was your name again? Come in. Oh, okay. Come in. Yeah. I was at San Luis Obispo Sheriff's Office. Okay, okay. awesome. You guys have any questions for me? No, no, no. Oh, sir. All right, wonderful. All right, thank, thank you. Have a good night. Appreciate I want to give my opinion on this video as neutral and unbiased as possible. First of all, let's start off with the fact that the officer didn't need to be there, so it was a bit of a waste of his time. However, the officer himself behaved very professionally, honoured his oath, and understood that Nathaniel wasn't doing anything wrong, but was simply exercising his constitutional rights. This person that came out with the beanie on was also kind of valid. He basically just said, we want to know what you're doing, why are you filming inside people's vehicles, it's kind of weird. There's nothing wrong with that, and actually, I kind of agree with what he did. Nathaniel was calm, he explained what he was doing, and he was respectful back. So once the guy realises, oh, it's just a guy exercising his first, cool, I'll just go back inside and leave him to it. But instead, they seem to go back inside and call the police, which in my opinion was the wrong thing to do, because Nathaniel... He's not doing anything wrong, so yeah, a bit of a kind of ignorance on their part, but Nathaniel handled it perfectly. Go subscribe to his channel, link in the description. I don't know. This guy was filming outside of a bank, and it does not end well. This next video is by Kansas City Accountability. I wanted to react to it and give my opinions to what's going on here. We have an audit that's taking place outside of a bank. The employees inside the bank seem very worried for the security of the bank and they also want to ask him why he is filming them while they are doing their work. So he doesn't exactly answer their questions how they would like him to, so they get really triggered and I guess that they call the police on him. When the police arrive, things get pretty out of control and it isn't great. I'm not going to ruin it and say what happens, but I am going to link a link in my description to Kansas City Accountability. And obviously I'm going to give my opinions on this clip all the way through. And uh, yeah, so without me yapping on any longer, grab yourselves a coffee, make yourselves comfortable, and let's begin. I don't know. 
How you doing? Doing good. How can I help you? You got a bottle of water and a lollipop? I do not, but you are not allowed to video the branch. Why is that? Because it's a federal institution, you cannot video it. Oh, I'm not. I don't plan on going inside of your bank. I'm not doing you can't nothing. Video the outside of my branch. It's a bank. Okay. You cannot video it. But I'm actually working on something. Okay, but you can't video the branch. Well, I'm not going to be out here long. You know, j just okay. a few more hours. I'm not going to be too long out here. Either stop videoing, or I will call security and have them stop you. Security. You cannot video the branch. I can call security. Security can't do nothing. Just don't call the. Okay. I'm not on your property. You own the sidewalk? We own all of this. What's your name? Mine's Jillian Barker. Jillian, okay. Are you checking the door and making sure the door is. Okay. How you doing? Hi, if you could just exit our building area, I'm their district operations manager. And what's your name? I'm, my name's Jacqueline. Okay. I would prefer that you don't record me. And what's your name? Can we help us, sir? I asked her, did she have a bottle of water and a lollipop? No. You don't? We, I, I don't have bottled water for clients. Or lollipops. Uh, you can go through the drive through if you would like, um, but we can't have you videoing and taking surveillance of our building. Like I told, so I'm going to ask that you leave the premises or we're going to have to have you escort it out. Like, like I told the young lady that just came out. Um, so why are you still recording? What is the like, purpose? I can't even talk. You won't stop talking. No, because we've asked okay. you to leave. Okay. So we'll just have an escort come take you out. An escort? Police escort. A, we you gonna call the police? police? Yes. You must want me to leave, huh? You're videoing a bank. You need to exit our building property. But like I told the lady, I don't have no intent on going on we you guys' this property. Anybody that comes out here with a video or camera, we're going to come approach. So we're going to ask that you go ahead and leave. And, and that's fine. Like I was just telling her, I have no intent on going on you guys' property or on the inside. I'm videoing our building. But that I'm, is a security issue, and I'm asking you to stop. But I'm not on your... Okay. Thank oh, you. Just... We'll come, come why you can't talk to her? Like... Yeah, you got to turn the video off. Why do I have to turn the video off? Well, this, is, this is a security issue. Uh-huh. This is a bank. Why'd you walk up so close? So I could talk to you. I can hear you. Okay. Like I was telling her, I'm working on something pretty big. This is big for me. So I told her I was just coming down here to do some recording. Okay. Uh, we're not, going not allowed to do that. From the sidewalk? I do not agree with this man. Instead, I agree with the guy filming. If you're stood on a public sidewalk, then you indeed have the First Amendment constitutional right. This is because the sidewalk is public and you can film anything you can see with your own eyes from a public place. This is of course plain view doctrine, freedom of press, first amendment, there's a whole bunch of laws, policies and things that we could use to back up the point that this auditor is in fact allowed to do what he's doing. But, big old capital but, before it gets any worse, I just need to warn you that it's going to. And it may trigger quite a lot of you and make you annoyed because what happens next is very difficult to watch. Not in the sense that you're probably thinking, it's not like a, a movie where someone gets hurt or you know the ca main character dies or something. Instead it's actually uh, involving officers, police officers. So yeah, brace yourself. Coming down here to do some recording. Okay, uh, we're, we're not, not allowed to do that. From the sidewalk? Right. Well, here, I'm just going to go around there, then I'll get the, uh, maybe the drive through Is this where the employers park at? You can't video the bank. But I'm not on your property. But you can't video the bank. It's a security issue. For what? For the employees who work here. What are their concerns? That people who would want to rob this bank would video it to see how things operate and then use that. You're not allowed to video. It. <laughs> how crazy do that sell, man? I told you her I was. You don't work in the industry. You don't work uh -huh. in the bank. That's a security protocol. You need to stop. Okay. Well, I told her I was. They are going to call the police. I, I mean, it's up to you. She's really calling the police. Yes. You really think she's doing yes. it? I know she is. She must want me to leave, huh? No, they want you to stop recording. So if I stop recording, everything's good. Do you have business at the bank? I'm not at the bank. I'm on the sidewalk. Okay. That's the whole thing. Okay. I'm just telling you, they're calling the police. Okay. It's up to you. I mean, if she calling the police, it's too late now. No matter if I stop or anything. If I'm standing right here, she's going to, they still going to pull up. So, berries. 
And here we go. How you doing? Can I get your name and badge number just so I know who I'm speaking to? Yeah, it's Officer Holland 5826. Great. How you doing, sir? Can I get your name and badge number just so I can know who I'm speaking to? Right here. I don't want to butcher it. How do you say that? Okay. Hey, what's going on? Why are you uh, out there? No, I'm trying to. I'm first. Let me ID this guy. Like his policy says. Can I get your name and badge number, sir, please? Thank you so much for being professional. Uh, how can I help you guys? Well, we got called here because your video is stuff and okay. they asked you to leave and you have not. I, I didn't go on their property or on their property. Okay, well, we also received another call from another bank of you doing the exact same thing about 30 minutes ago. Okay, on the sidewalk. So what are you doing? I'm recording. Why? I let the guy know I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. What I told him I have no ill intent. I'm not on you guys' property. I'm on the sidewalk. Well, what's, so, what's the story? I told him I can't say. It's not published yet. Okay, but do you understand how it's weird? Absolutely not. Absolutely okay. not. Do you understand how it's legal for me to record on the public sidewalk? Okay, well, Why won't you tell him that? Because I'm on the public sidewalk. You're still in the parking lot. I'm yeah. on a public sidewalk. Actually, they own all the way. Sir, I'm on, can I get a supervisor out here, please? Let's get a supervisor. Okay, well, we need to get your information. Absolutely not. Okay. Yeah, they just cuffed me, y'all. It's her right there hollering. Don't know the law. And she turned my camera off. That's why my camera just... Let me get back to the, the public. Well, let's get off her property. <laughs> Look at Holland. I got you. You know the last time you see me, Miss Holland? <laughs> this is not the last time you see me, Holland. Thank God that in the end, the supervisor did in fact turn up. Because without that supervisor... There would have been one brain cell between both officers. What on earth was that all about? That is one of the worst power grabs I've seen in a long time from the female officer who basically just said we need to get your details, said it like twice and then proceeded to basically throw the guy in cuffs. Crazy. I mean I really have no words and I'm kind of just in a state of shock as to why she would do that over something so meaningless like if the guy is filming it really depends where he's filming if he is filming of course from the public sidewalk they have absolutely no power but she seemed to go off the fact that he had been reported by other banks doing the same thing i guess down the road or something so that was her argument for probable cause or reasonable articulable suspicion but even then it wasn't a crime that he committed and the whole time he was actually just exercising his first. So, wow. The female cop, you know, overstepped the mark in my opinion. Hi. Whenever officers say that it is illegal to film somewhere, it's always vital that we try and figure out whether the property is in fact public or private. In this particular example, Sean had a massive argument with an officer regarding whether something was state property or whether it was not. Now this is a video that is going to get so entertaining so I encourage you guys to watch all the way through to the end. I'm going to give my opinions and of course react to what happens here. This is I believe a correctional facility. It's kind of like at the side of the building like adjacent to the entrance and it's right by the parking lot. So let's take a look at what actually happens here and I'm going to talk about what I think and also what I think about the officer. Uh, I don't think this lady's the officer, it's actually someone who turns up in a red polo vest later on in the clip. I'll leave a link to Sean's channel in case you don't know who he is. Uh, most of you probably do though. Hi. Hi, who are you? I'm an officer. No, I, I figured that you were an officer by your shirt, but you're a correctional officer. What's your name? Because you just pulled up in front of me and yeah, started talking to me. This is state property. You're not supposed to be on. This is state property. Yes, it is. You don't see all these state vehicles. Yeah, I see all the state vehicles, okay. including yours. What What does state property have to do with anything? That means that you cannot be on state property taking pictures unless you get permission from our superintendent first. I need permission to take yes, pictures on state do. property. I can give you the number to the jail, and you can call. No, I don't need to call I anyone. Understand. This is not. This might be state property, but state property that's open to the public. I didn't hop a fence to get here. There aren't any restricted area signs anywhere around here. Okay, well, do you want me to call 
I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you with the train passing. Would you like me to be No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes. I'm telling you, you can't. Okay, well, I know New York State law. This okay, is not. Good. This is but publicly accessible area. Yes, there aren't well, restricted so area signs. Mean that the public comes. You're the only public person that's here right now that doesn't work here. Well, that's, that's because I'm the only one that here. chose to be here today. But this is open to the public. It's there's no fence. There's no signs. There's no this nothing. This is all about just because it's not closed doesn't mean you can just walk in. If a door sure. open to a house, would you just walk in it? Well, no. Oh, because that would be considered trespassing. Well, no, yeah, because okay. the, I don't own the property to that house. Okay. I own, own this own property. This yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, this is this is, is taxpayer. Right. And who funds the state of New York? Department of Correction. Who funds the state of New York, ma'am? People. Right. Okay. There you go. But you still can't be able I don't fund to private respect. property. I I understand what you're saying. Okay. You're saying that this is state property and somehow I don't have a right to be here, but I think you're wrong. And I I never got your name. You can take it up with the superintendent. Her I don't need to Cop. speak to the superintendent. Well, what's the superintendent's name? Cop. Cop. Yes. C O K O P P. K O P P. Yes. Yeah, I don't need to speak to the superintendent though. Oh, I'm not in a those. restricted area. You're one of those. Okay, I get. What's it. one of those? You're, what does that mean? To be difficult instead of just leaving a property. So I'm. I already explained very nicely. Right. That you're not supposed to be. You're still filming. How would you feel if I said, oh, you're one of those? How would you feel? If I was one of those, I wouldn't feel any sort of way. So you're one of those? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, you're not a law enforcement officer, correct? Excuse me? You're not a law enforcement officer? What do you... Are you... I'm asking a question. Are you a law yes, enforcement officer? No, that's you're not. A, that's a silly question. No, it's not. You're... Yes, sir. So being arrested doesn't mean that you're guilty of anything, ma'am. Just so you know. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm from Long Island. Hey, how are you? Hey, sir, how are you? I'm doing well. Do you mind if I get your name? Sure, I'm Officer Yuzensky. Officer Yuzensky. My name is Sean. All right, Sean. And your name, sir? My name is Stuart McLojack. Again, my name is Sean. What's up, man? I'm Lamb. Nice to meet you. I love how the officer to the left is telling the officer on the right that he does a lot of videos on law enforcement as if that has any relevance to the conversation other than him trying to say yo bro watch out what you say because this guy actually holds us accountable unlike the other stupid people <laughs> basically that's my uh how do I say this not interpretation but um translation of what he said it's basically just like bro don't say anything stupid don't argue with him because it's all on camera zip it like literally they have to be so careful when they're dealing with sean because he knows what he's talking about and everything's being filmed also on top of that he doesn't have like 10 subs or even 80k subs or 90k like me he has hundreds of thousands one of the biggest followings in the whole of the auditing community and a lot of law enforcement do know who he is and actually watch his channel like massive fanboys. Let's keep watching and see what happens next. Obviously, I agree with Sean and not the officers uh, up to this point. Yeah, no, I'm just taking some pictures of the vehicles here and some, I was just taking a picture of these, this talking to this officers. Well, pictures, video is kind of the same thing. It's just moving. You ever heard of moving pictures? No, and video, video is, video is moving is pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's a moving picture. So yeah, that's all I'm doing here. I, I didn't hop any fence or anything. There, there was no restricted area signs anywhere that I saw um, that deemed this area so as restricted in any way. So I don't know. She said the state property, but I'm trying to understand what's the difference between state property and public property. There's a sign right over there that identifies this as state property. There's a much larger sign that says exactly that. Okay. If you go over to the public access road, you will see that. But what does that mean, state property? I don't understand. It, it's, it doesn't say it's restricted state property. It just says that it's the Department so of Correction. So you did see that it said state property. All right, and I'm, I'm, so I admitted that to you. you did see that. Right. Okay, so your earlier statement... You didn't, 
is no, it quite accurate? No, no, you no. said I didn't see anywhere where it says this is no, state property. No, I said, I said I don't understand what the significance of state okay. property means. Then I suggest you call Albany. No, I don't need to, sir. No, no, no. And they would give you a clarification. I bet that if you made a formal request, they would even send it to you in writing. Right. I just don't need to, sir. I would do no, that. No, I don't you need said to. you don't know. No, I'm saying As I don't know what you're... you wanted to learn. Sir, no, no, no. I would ask a de-escalate a little bit, but... No, I... no, no, no. Just I just want to make sure we're enunciating clearly. Right, right, right. You gave the impression you didn't know no. and you wanted to know. If you... So I'm... then you're not interested. <laughs> sir, if you allow me to speak... So you're not interested. If you allow me to speak, I can okay. explain to you. She said this was state property. Are you interested in knowing okay, where sir. you should be have and nice, shouldn't have, be? Have a nice day, sir. Have a nice day. I'm not going to engage with you any longer. You just want to escalate the situation. That's it. Don't That's all you want to do. At all. Yes, you do. You gave the you're impression you didn't know. Your, you're escalating that by the use of your tone and the, the way you're do getting you close to Do you want to me. know or not? Please back away from me. Please back away from me. Then please leave the area. This is a publicly accessible area, sir. There is uh, nothing that restricted about this area. I suggest that you study up on New York State law and understand that this is not... So you did know all along? Know all along what, sir? What are you trying to say? That you came on this property purposefully. Right. I mean, I didn't accidentally come on the property. If that's what you're... No, no. You came on it purposely. Right. Okay. Right. I did come on it purposely, okay. sir, to take pictures of the public facility here. Yes. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. State property, everybody that's open to the public, this everybody can. state property. Okay. You came on purposely. Right, sir. Okay. That's usually what happens when you walk and you move forward okay. and you get somewhere. Yes, it was okay. purposely, sir. Right. Right. I don't think that really means anything, but yeah, purposely I walked onto this property here, right? Where there's no restricted area signs, where there's no signage that says I am not allowed to be here. Correct. Right. It is very worrying when officers don't know if a particular property is publicly accessible or private. Usually this would be something that's clear and their training should obviously, well, it's not even their training, it's like, it is quite literally common sense and as stupid as that sounds, that's the truth. If someone's working at a facility and they've worked there for years of their life, then they should know whether that property is commercial property, private property, public property, there's so many different um, categories. But ultimately, there's only two when it really comes to the First Amendment. It's either you can or you can't film because it is public or publicly accessible or it's just private. You either have to go via invitation or it's just a no-go zone because somebody owns it and you can't go onto it. So there's a lot of things to take into consideration. But it seems like me and the people on this channel care more about whether it's private or public than the actual officers there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, that's saying something and it's not good anyway thanks for this uh channel thanks for this uh, little reaction uh, video that i got my little vibe going here on the corner of youtube if you enjoyed this please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel i'll pop a link to sean's channel in my description the full version of this video this was only around quarter of the video if you want to go watch the full version i'll leave a link to it in my description i hope you're all well and i'll catch you tomorrow